Okay, here we are, the second video in this tutorial series. Um, we've got the editor set up. This is the Unreal Editor 4.70. To see how you access that and all the first bit, watch the first tutorial um, in the playlist. Um, now, I learnt everything I've learnt so far by watching this one video by this guy, as I said, um, I think an epic uh, staff person called Rauschberg, I think his name is. We did this one basic tutorial, and I've uh, I've analysed it and learnt from there by trial and error, okay, and then asking just a couple of other uh, questions. So we're going to go and build a, a something basic, right? Let's look at the basics. File, and it will probably crash on me now because this crashes all the time. Trust me, it really does. Right. So I'm on a Mac. It crashes all the time. There may be some crashes through this and some other bugs. Okay, so file. New level. Now you can go with empty level, but I go with this default. And the reason I go with the default is because you get the sky sphere, so you get a sky and everything like that. Okay. So here we have the the editor. Now I'm using a Mac. And the way it works for me with the Mac with the magic mouse is if I right click and drag on any of these these three editors here, I zoom in and out right click and then I can swipe on the top of the mouse to move around like that horizontally or vertically um, on the mouse I mean horizontally or vertically on the mouse okay I don't know what it would how you move around with the Windows mouse you'll have to look that up but there is something in the preferences for mouse controls I think okay um, so with this perspective window if uh, I right click and drag I'm going up or down if I right click and drag, uh, that's if I if I right click and drag, push the mouse forward backwards, I'm going up and down. If I right click, hold down right click and drag to left and right, I'm going like that. Okay. If I swipe the top of the mouse that way, vertically, it, it it tilts on that axis. And if I swipe from left to right on the top of the mouse with my finger, it rotates around my central point like that. Okay. And then if I hold down left mouse and push and pull, it zooms in out. So let's just go up a little bit. So this is what you get when you start with this basic level, with this you know starter level. All right. You get this piece of floor with the player start, and then if we look up here in these editors, there's a directional light, there's this atmospheric fog, and that's it. And then there's this piece of floor, and the floor has these. We can click on any of the lines there to select the floor, or I can select the floor by clicking on it there. Now, because it's got these um, diagonal lines, it is a static mesh. If you look here, it says, okay, look, static mesh. So we don't want that. So select it, just click on it like that, select it. Backspace, it's gone. Okay. Now we go to modes. The, the, the thing that I learned from watching this Rauschberg tutorial is that it's the basic thing you use for building the worlds are these modes these bsp objects right and you can manipulate these these you can make rooms with walls with all sorts of things okay so we'll start with absolute basics drag a box and before we do that let's just check here is our i'm going to drag this box this bsp box into this top view area where i'm looking down at the map from above i'm going to set the snap for the grid to a nice big snap like say 50 like that okay so Drag the box in and stick it in the middle there. Boom, like that. There it is. Just zoom in a little bit. Okay. There's the box in 3D view. There it is from the top. There it is from the front. There it is from the side. Right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we we've now got the box selected like that. Go here to details. Right. I'm going to make the box bigger. I'm going to make it um, 2,000 by 2. Thousand, okay. Let's just zoom out here. Can you see it there? Look, this box being built there. Look. So it's now two thousand by two thousand. Okay, and here it is from top view, two thousand by two thousand. I'm going to make it. And this is it from front and side view here. And we're going to make it eight hundred deep. The Z plane. Now. Just to say, these the green, the red, and the blue line that you see in these grid views 
okay this doesn't represent like some level that is the the zero level for the earth or something like that okay this just means that you know when you're looking in these views the red is the x-axis the green is the um, the y-axis and the blue is the z height axis right so we've got this box there it is you can just see it there's this yellow outline with four with little blue blocks at the corners right and it's 2000 by 2000 and from the front and the side it's 800 tall okay so if we build this go up here to build build it builds a block 2000 by 2000 by 800 tall okay now the whole th key to this working with these bsps is that they can be additive or subtractive now i just built this box by making the dimensions and then building and if you look over here for the brush settings for this box here look brush settings this brush which is what these look all these things here these are called brushes these PS, bsp things right so this brush box in details is additive so when i build it it builds a solid box to the dimensions i set 2000 by 2000 by 800 tall okay but bsps can be subtractive as well look subtractive so what you do is this nope. um here in this top view with still with a snap up 50 right I hold down alt and i can and i drag off with either the green or the red arrow i drag a copy because holding down alt and dragging off in either direction with one of the arrows drags a copy so alt and drag off a copy of the box and i'm dragging that copy i've moved it across look just one grid block one grid square at this snap of 50. Right. so now i've got two boxes 2000 by 2000 by 800 there's the first one and there's the copy i've dragged off overlaid on top of it okay now we go to modes here and we choose this geometry which should be in this default edit now i click on the second box i just dragged off and then i'm going to lasso let's just zoom in on that i'm going to lasso this side of the second box i dragged off like that boom both blocks at each end become orange and if you look here you can see that furthest side of the box all four corners are orange so i've selected that entire side of the second box that was dragged off the copy right and then i just drag it in so it's inside the first box by one block of the editor look by one block of the editor there's the that line there is the original box this is the copy so the copy is now has been brought in in scale so it's one block at a snap of 50 one block of the grid inside the original box on that side and on this side it's brought in in dimensions one block of the grid at a snap of 50 from the original now we can do the same to this wall to this side and this side right so go up here lasso those two like that for that box okay and i've now selected this whole side of the second box there's the four corners selected in orange and bring that side of the box in one snap so that is also one snap block of the grid at 50 inside the outer box and now the bottom bit here or other this side here because we're looking down from the top so get those like that and bring that one in okay so now what i've got let's go back to modes select modes and that one not the geometry anymore this one right so now what i've got looking down from top view is i've got and also in this 3d view i've got the original box there and inside it a copy of the box which i've made 50 smaller all the way around on all of its four sides you see the orange line on this editor here can you just see that yeah you can see the orange outline of the inner box sitting inside the original box which we've scaled in to be smaller so we've got a second copy of the box 
made smaller all the way round on all four sides by 50 sitting inside the original box okay but it's the same height as the original box here look now w with that second inner box selected like that's the outer box from the top that's the inner box right with that second box selected we go to details and we make it subtractive and if we now build it will carve out the second inner box from the outer box boom We're leaving four walls 50 wide because that's 50 is the difference between the outer box and the inner box okay and now this inner box has been built and it's subtractive its line becomes this pinky red color now because the inner box was the same height as the outer box it's carved out the floor as well right it's just made a hollow right the way through because the inner box was the same height as the outer box but the inner box was 50 smaller on the four sides so it's made a wall 50 wide all the way around there's a square wall with no floor but if we want there to be a floor we go back to this view select the inner box go to geometry grab the two look here right this is the, looking at it from the front grab the bottom edge of the inner box so lasso the whole lot and bring the bottom of the inner box up so it's not as tall as the outer box like that okay say so now my inner box is only this tall from here to here sitting inside the outer box which is from there that height okay so now this is still subtractive so if I now rebuild it will rebuild making this big thick floor like that okay this inner box here has been carved out okay leaving the 50 um, the, the walls 50 wide all the way around because this inner box is inside the outer box 50 inside all the way around and that's the thickness of the floor okay this is the floor of the inner box carving out of the outer box so that's the floor and that's the bottom of the whole cube so our, our floor is now as the thickness of our floor is from here to here okay so now we've got a box with a thick floor but the same 50 width walls all the way around okay we can go into that right click on that and play from here it might crash it crashes a lot this here we are i'm inside the box okay, okay just tap on escape i'm in on a mac again by the way okay now that's the first thing that I learned from the Rashberg guy, right? Now you can, if you want, just build a floor. I'll show you that next. You can just build a floor panel, right? And then make four walls and lower them down onto the floor on all sides to build a room like that. But this is such a simple way of doing it. You just make a big block and carve another block out of it, leaving the walls and the floor at whatever depth you want, right? It's quicker, okay? But the subtractive thing is the, is the key to doing a lot of it, right? Okay, so we'll move on from there. I'll end this video here.